Bosch is increasing the power of the Performance Line CX motor through a software update. In our short news video, you'll find out exactly what that means, how to get the update, and which motors will benefit from it. After many manufacturers have entered the market with increasingly powerful motors, Bosch is now stepping up with an upgrade to its popular CX motor just in time for Eurobike 2025. At the end of June, the CX motor will receive an update, boosting it to 100 Newton meters. Then your Bosch electric bike will support you with up to 750 watts. This new update will not only be introduced with the brand new performance line CX race motor, but, and this is what makes it particularly exciting, it will also be available for the Bosch performance line CX BDU38. That is the model launched just last year, commonly referred to as the fifth generation of the CX motor. So everyone who has already treated themselves to one of these electric bikes can be excited. Just wait for the June update, then enjoy your bike with up to 100 Newton meters of torque. Once the update is released at Eurobike in June, you will of course be able to download it yourself from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and install it on your Bosch e-bike. Up to now, the BDU38 or 5th generation CX motor came with 85 Newton meters of torque and only supported you with up to 600 watts. But with DJI's new shooting star, the Avanox, entering the spotlight, Bosch clearly decided that was not enough and is now raising both torque and peak power. In the meantime, e-bike enthusiasts who are riding with an Bosch CX motor that is older, specifically the fourth generation, also known as the BDU37, may unfortunately be left out. As things currently stand, Bosch has not announced any plans to bring the 100 Newton meter upgrade to these earlier models. And that leads to the most important question about this update. What does it actually bring you as a rider? And do you really need it? To be honest, it seems like Bosch is mainly giving the motor's spec sheet a bit of a makeover. In the end, it feels more about marketing, being able to print 100 Newton meters on the label. With the familiar overrun of the fifth generation CX motor, the extra power will of course let you attack climbs even more aggressively and boldly on the trails. Anyone who prefers that kind of ride and wants that maximum punch will definitely be very happy with the update. For everyone else, those who ride in more moderate EMTB conditions, or even in the trekking segment where the CX motor is also commonly used, the extra 15 Newton meters may go entirely unnoticed. You might not feel a real difference at all, except that you reach the summit 20 seconds earlier, but with a little less battery left in the tank. Because in this case, more isn't necessarily better. A Newton meter update like this naturally also has one or two negative consequences for your beloved e-bike. First and foremost, this will of course have an impact on your e-bike's battery range. It is quite simple really. If the motor draws more power, then the battery will run out faster. So even with the 750 or 800 watt hours that are now common, you are unlikely to get the same distance as before on a single charge. On the other hand, the riding experience of your Bosch electric bike, especially in the trekking bike segment, can also take a turn for the worse. This happens simply because the power pushes you forward so aggressively that it's just no fun to ride anymore. That's exactly how I felt during a short test ride with DJI's Avanox system. In the Avanox trail and boost mode, riding on flat terrain in the city was really no fun at all because the bike just always wanted too much, surging forward way too aggressively so be careful when you install the update, as it could potentially have a negative impact on your riding characteristics. The good news is that you quite literally have it in your own hands. Using the eBike Flow app, you can adjust the motor's support levels and fine tune each riding mode to match your style and your bike. So even with more power, you can make it feel just right for your everyday rides. You can, among other things, adjust the maximum torque and tweak the ride behavior so it feels just right for the way you want to ride. I've linked our blog article on how to do that exactly in the description or by clicking up here right now, you can also find it. And perhaps another positive side effect that could come with the 100 Newton meter update. Naturally, this update might make e-bikes with the fourth generation motor seem slightly less attractive, which could be your chance to grab a great deal from your trusted dealer, because even if it no longer boasts 100 Newton meters on the spec sheet, the Gen 4 motor is still a seriously good e-bike drive system. 
and we have already covered exactly that in a dedicated video. So if you are interested, make sure to check that out as well. It is definitely worth a look. If you still have any questions about the 100 Newton meter flow app update, feel free to leave them in the comments. We'll make sure to get them answered. Feel free to also share what you think about it, whether you've been wishing for this for a long time or if you always ride in eco mode. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the flow app update. We will also be testing how it feels when riding through the city, so stay tuned and see you soon.